Hey guys, what is up? So it is time for the March plan with me. This is the first one of my channel for my bullet journal. My next one will be for my boyfriend's bullet journal. And so I decided for this month, of course I had to have something green going on because of St. Patty's Day. March is just known for green, but I didn't want to do a classical, oh, okay, reptile and green theme or let's just go with green all around. I wanted to do a different take on it while still having a green element in the background, which is why you'll see I have tropical jungle leaves in the back. I'm not exactly sure what these are called. Yes, that is a shocker considering I'm a wildlife biology major. It's just one of those things it's like I guess you just call these tropical leaves they're not really specific I guess they're a mix of a palm and a monstera but I originally was going to draw monster leaves realized very quickly I did not have that going for me and afterwards I looked back at a monster leaf and I was like that is not what I was drawing at all so I just decided to keep it as is so here are my random leaves that don't really have an actual identification and then the other part is the bearded dragon now the reason this bearded dragon looks so weird is because it's actually albino. I decided to do a combination of green and white and I wanted to go ahead and take a step out of my comfort zone and do reptiles for this month. And of course that means that my second theme is also going to be reptiles, but you'll get to see that a little bit later on in the week. Right now I'm just adding some outlining to these leaves to give them a little bit of a pop since the bearded dragon is a little bit more subtle due to it having only one specific color around it which is that light gray. I did not want to add a black outline or anything to take away from the beautifulness of the white paleness that is an albino bearded dragon, but of course I had to have that red eye prominent and showing. calendar so starting out with this actual pattern at the top that I had drawn out I actually do not like these leaves whenever I finish them out so you will notice that off-camera I went ahead and just covered all of this up with washi tape but I decided to just go ahead and let you see the process and the horror that actually turned out from this leaf idea I had I guess I just wasn't in the mood when I was drawing this specific calendar setup or something but ended up just using some washi tape with different kinds of leaves, including these weird palm tropical leaves that I think I'm drawing. Again, I have no idea what this actual leaf is. Now you can see the washi tape that I just previously mentioned, so I just decided to cover all of that mess up, and then I put some on the side as well. After that, it's just a basic straightforward of me coloring each of these rows with two different greens, the ones that I've been using for the leaves of the inside and the outside. So lately, I haven't been drawing all of the lines of these calendars. I've just been kind of doing this row idea, and this worked out really well for me in February, so I decided to carry it on into March, even though it's a bit more of a messy kind of feel, I guess, for some people. I just thought it was very, very nice, the way that it flowed and the way that I didn't have to draw all these lines and have just this big globby mess of a calendar on my paper. So while numbering out these days, I decided that for the darker greens, I would go ahead and use a white gel pen for that. Moving on to the habit tracker, I just decided to do this simple little label of a habit tracker and then just drew the leaves right beside it just to make it pretty plain. I originally was going to do washi tape at this point, but I felt like I had overused it with the calendar and I kind of wanted to start drawing leaves again to make this theme a little bit more friendly to those who don't have the washi tape I do. At the bottom I have another bearded dragon and it's just chilling in the leaves again. And the quote that I picked for this one is actually pretty simple. Normally I pick these big complex quotes but I had this tiny space and I decided I wasn't going to make a whole quote page for this spread. So it just says enjoy the little things. And once again I'm just going on and outlining out the bearded dragon with that grey 
and in a minute you'll see me add that prominent red once again to the eye and just the green in the background of the leaves. I chose this specific quote, enjoy the little things, because of the fact that March is going to be a pretty busy month for me, mostly just preparing for finals, because unlike most universities, we are finishing out in April due to COVID, and we do not get a spring break, sadly, so if everybody else is enjoying their relaxation, I'll be writing essays still. So normally I have nine habits that I track, but for this one, I overshot that bearded dragon and having that quote there. So I decided to go ahead and limit it to, I believe it's eight. And I just got, went ahead and took out the brushing the teeth habit because the only reason I had that was due to me being on a six month trial for fixing up the plaque in my teeth. I apparently wasn't brushing 100% correctly on that and that trial is over. So now I don't need that space anymore because I pretty much got it down, I guess. So moving on to my mood tracker, once again, just doing that simple two leaf on both side label for the mood tracker, and I just decided to, for this one, full on freehand a bearded dragon, since I got really tired of my circles turning out really bad due to that tool I was using. I need to really learn how to actually get the precise way that I do it with pencil first off versus my actual pen, so I just decided, forget it, I'm just gonna freehand the entire thing and just draw a bearded dragon from memory, which I did, I guess. I kinda used a slight reference from the one over there on the left side where I had done my habit tracker. expense tracker so this is the one that got the most of the change because I realized very quickly throughout January and February after I started doing these that I needed more space I had apparently spent more on things than I had remembered of myself and I'm trying to save money so this is probably not the best idea to go ahead and make more room for expenses but you know things happen medical bills all that jazz and then there's just the random buying stuff you have to do for school of course and you gotta eat, so food. 
mean by it got a change is that I decided to do two columns. These two columns are exactly the same as the big one that I did. It's dates, purchases, and just that plus or minus. So what I gained, what I lost, because I do have a job. So of course I do gain money. And there's the occasional refund that happens as well. So that's just kind of how this setup went. And my lines look like crap. I'm not even gonna lie about that. And it's just like, this ruler and me have never been friends. So I apologize if you're like, hey, she can't use a ruler. I promise you I can. I've taken plenty of math classes that involve lines and you have to have straight lines. Otherwise the professor is just like, well, you failed because you obviously didn't use a ruler. I did, I promise. I just suck at using rulers. Okay, so yeah, I, I just admitted, yes, I do suck at using rulers. So there you go. I can use them. It's just not when people are looking. <laughs> More so the problem comes from just using a really small ruler, so you have to do that whole double lineage thing, and with a big ruler, it's just one time, I just gotta go straight down, and with this one, it's like, hey, so you have to do that whole lining up and getting it perfectly on that line that you just drew twice, and of course that causes a stagnant gap, and you can see that in my lines, so I apologize for that, so in my defense, yes can use a long ruler, cannot use this really small Muji ruler. Does that mean I'm going to get a long ruler? Probably not, I'm very lazy. So moving on my bills page, same thing as the rest with the two leaves on the sides and then just the word bills. I don't pay a lot of bills because I'm still in college and I still technically live at home. I say that because I live with my boyfriend so we'll say home for the record. And at the bottom of the bill page, I just have another bearded dragon. This one's a little bit different from the rest because this one's more of a elongated drawing versus the up close and personal ones that show off just the face and a couple of features of the scales. This one is a full body, all the scales, all the different fixtures and textures of the skin and everything. to the to-do list and once again same format as before and at the bottom of course there is a bearded dragon. <laughs> I would have called this one the actual full-on, full-body bearded dragon because it has all of its appendages, tail, and all that. And I promise you that they have all of the legs in the picture. It's just that it's tucked underneath that little fat, scaly belly. onto the grade tracker and I just track five different classes that I'm taking but I noticed that in my past ones my wildlife internship class needed more space so that one gets a bit of a bigger section than the other four because that's just at my own time and I just have to document every single time that I actually 
do my internship work and that's just for me it's not like a requirement or anything it's just knowing how many hours I have left is definitely a big help especially being an intern so now I am drawing the baby albino bearded dragon so these are just smaller and there's less scales on them I still wanted it to look like a bearded dragon so you can understand what it actually was so I added a little more scales and realistically that are found on baby bearded dragons we are doing my dailies for the first week and on this corner here I was just drawing a mama baby mama and a baby bearded dragon and I had a reference photo for this but there are none for actual albino bearded dragons with their baby so I just kind of used a regular bearded dragon with their baby and just played it off the colors that I had been using already and I just thought that it fit for the first week of March since we're not quite to St. Patty's Day, so the craziness hasn't started, but we're just right out of that cold month of February and we're slowly drifting into hopefully what will be spring for all of us. And here is the final flip through for March. Super fun theme and I think I did it pretty well. And it was just a lot of fun, but also a challenge because I've never done reptiles before. Maybe you'll see some amphibians down the road, who knows, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a wonderful March. I'll see you in the second plan with me for this month. <laughs>